Hey, come on in. Let's make these oxtails. If you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe. These are my famous oxtails. Here we go. Lady Shaka went ahead with some olive oil inside of this fabulous Copa Blue Dutch oven. See, you can do oxtails a lot of ways. Let's go ahead and just do it the old-fashioned way in the oven. That oven right now is just warming up for us. So what I do is I sprinkle a little gluten-free flour at the bottom of my pot. You can use whatever flour you got, but that gluten-free works with me, honey. I just can't do it with the gas. I go in um, after I do that and put my seasoning. So this seasoning here is um, for red meat, beef, steaks like that. And the oxtail is actually a cut of red meat. And yes, it is very expensive. The ox ain't got but one tail and I think they split it between three people. So go to your best butcher, get you some nice kosher cut, halal cut oxtails and go in. Look at that, that is Worcestershire sauce. That's my secret ingredients. Go ahead and shake that real good at the bottom. It gives it brownie and it gives it that, uh, oh, that you need. I started doing that. I love that Worcestershire sauce. Guess what that is? A little ginger. That'll, that'll help too. That'll break up any type of tangy little meaty taste. It also open up them arteries. I told y'all I'm a nurse for life. Now this little pot here, this is my Mackenzie Childs, what they call that, a squash pot. That's where I put my, my secret ingredients. This is a combination of seasonings I put together. This seasoning I can use on anything, but if it says like um, chicken seasoning or fish seasoning or beef seasoning, that is something I don't put in there. So that's mostly onions, garlic, you know, my herbs and spices. But for this recipe, I'm going in with a bag of Lipton onion soup mix. So see, that's something I wouldn't put in my squash pot. But hey, it's good to make your own seasonings, y'all. So now I'm going to go in with a little pepper and a little sea salt, just a little, not too much. Y'all checking out the Mackenzie child? Hey, look at the teapot back there. Y'all, I'm hooked on her stuff. It makes my little kitchen look pretty. Now I got them pretty oxtails in there. I cleaned them with water and vinegar. Y'all don't be washing y'all meat off with no dish detergent, no bleach. Well, wait a minute, no bleach and no washing powder. Okay, now what I did was I sprayed the top of my meat with some Pam. I already got olive oil on the bottom. See, that helps hold on to the seasoning. And that's olive oil Pam spray, y'all. Hey. And my pot, you know, is already nonstick because, you know, that's just the coating of it. But you can, you know, it's meat. That oxtail has enough fat on it that it don't need no whole lot of water when it go in the oven. I'll do another one for y'all in the slow cooker. That's my seasoning, y'all. I'm going in. I'm going in. Look. Lipton onions mix. Now, that's the other. I put half at the bottom so it can soak up down there and half at the top. You know, these oxtails, you know, they cook real good. I think I had enough for three of us. Yep, three of us ate good. Could you imagine I got to use the bigger pot if I had more people? $60 meal. That's right, sprinkle some of that ginger on top. Holla. Oh my goodness, it looks good already. So you know it's going to have like a little oily gravy, but it's really good. Nothing you got to drain off. Nothing that'll really kill you. It'll all be at the bottom. You know I'm going in with that Lee and Paris Worcestershire sauce. Now you know there's other brands, but this is the Bucci Kitchen, okay? So we are more into getting things right, you know, I like name brands, I like stuff like that, you know, somebody I can sue if they mess up, but hey, you know, do what you gotta do, we know gas is high, you know, hey, but that's the best, y'all, that Lee and Perry, you can't, look how pretty the mocktails look, if y'all don't eat red meat, I know you about to puke and die, but guess what, I got you, get you some vegan oxtails and make it just like this. It'll come out the same way. No, y'all. I don't know about that. Look, this is less than a half a cup of water. Just to give it a boop, pour it in the middle so it hit the pot. That's all. Just to get a little steam on. 
That's all. That's what I was saying about that. And then don't let me forget that my, my meat seasoning go on top. You got to season this meat or to just feel like you just bit into the damn ox. Oops, excuse my French. Or was that German? Y'all, don't that look good? Don't that look good? I got some explaining to do, too, when I was editing this. I covered it up. Do you know this pot is 22 years old? Got it on QVC. Now, I got my oven on 375. Now, I'm about to tell y'all now. On 375, I usually cook it um, for one hour, then check it. But guess what? I forgot I had something to do. So, I had to leave. And I had to cook it for three hours. So, I turned it all the way down to 250. And I hauled tail to handle my business. And this is what happened when I got back. That's 250 y'all. Y'all thought I was playing? Nobody can make oxtails like that. Don't they taste good? Go on. Get your fork. Get a bite. Wash your hands. Well, wash your hands. That's how it was when it hit my plate. All that good, good stuck on there because of the olive oil. Let me know how it tastes, y'all. Peace.